Hello again, everybody. Um, this is not a hallucination. Great way to start words. Awesome. Cool. This is not a hallucination. Is the word I was trying to get out there. I am actually, uh, this is actually a new video, and it's by me, and I'm uploading it. So that's, that's a thing. It's cool. Um, I am back, um, after a very long a little stay off of YouTube, uh, a little little staycation, um, I guess is what we'll call it. Um, I am back. I'm doing videos again. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I had a cough there. Um, I I don't know. It feels it's good to I guess do this again. It was a very cool like creative thing. Um, <coughs> but I guess why I stopped it got it got old and YouTube's copyright thing got to be a huge pain and you know you know the deal. Um, but yeah, I am back. I am playing a little bit of Minecraft today. But as you can see, things are not as they are in normal Minecraft. Because I am playing Feed the Beast Monster. Um, and I chose to do this because I love mods. Over the course of my stay, I played a lot of uh, modded Minecraft. A lot. I watched videos on it, I learned all the ins and outs of the mods, and... Oh, excuse me. All kinds of stuff like that. And, uh, I just, I fell in love with FTB. So that's sort of something I would like to do today, and for a while. It's going to be a continuing series, because um, it's super fun. Um, <clears throat> and I'll be explaining everything as I go along, too. Don't worry, it's not like I'm just going to leave you in the dust and all that. But this here, what I was doing was Magical Crops. It's a mod that's in this pack that lets you uh, grow resources, and that none of that is exaggerated. You can grow... Diamonds, you can grow something as simple as coal, you can grow like essences, they can make cobblestone and stuff like that. It's really cool. <clears throat> um, but the, yeah, that's that. I got some coal going, I got some essence, which is like the core of the actual mod uh, over here. Essence crop, um, or essence dust, I guess is what you get from it. But anyway, that is a video for another time uh, once that gets expanded. I have, as you can see, I started off a little bit here because I was playing. And then I thought to myself as I was playing, well, you know what? Why don't I record this and do this? So, yeah. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so I got a little base area set up. I kind of wanted to make it like a tree type of... Th well, obviously it's a tree. It's got leaves and logs and a trunk and stuff. But I wanted to make it kind of like a building made around a tree, I guess, where like the bark's been sheared off there. and it's just, I, don't, I don't know. I think it looks pretty cool. It's coming along. It's still not done yet, but that's that. Ignore that dirt tower that's just built up there. Um, but yeah, okay, so let's get started here. I actually, believe it or not, had another video previously recorded, and uh, the audio on it was just horrible. Like, you could not hear my voice at all. And when you could, it was, like, not not good at all. But I hope you can't hear that train. It's coming by my apartment right now. I live downtown now, so... There's trains that run by about every 10 minutes. It's a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, that's that. I got started. I got some resources. I did a bunch of mining over here. Um, so I got a good base of stuff set up. But yep, I had a previous video where I explained everything about the Tinker's Construct that was over there. That whole uh, thing. And... Uh, um train of thought. It's gone. It's just, just gone. Uh, yeah, this is all Tinker's Construct. I explained all that, which I, I'll do again. Tinker's Construct um, basically adds this whole big multi-block, which is really cool. It's called the Smeltery. And it's made with a smeltery controller, a variable amount of seared tanks, because they hold lava, which fuels the thing, um, and one plus smeltery drain, faucet, table, and or casting basin. Um, <clears throat> what you do, and I will put a little example over here, what can I else do gold? You take your ores and whatnot, actually no, no, I have something I actually need to smelt down. You take your ores, oh, where am I? You take your ores and whatnot, <clears throat> throw them in here, and the inventory here is just based on how high you make it, and I know it does have a limit, I just don't know the exact number of what that limit is. but. Um, the higher you make it, the more inventory it has, and it just heats the stuff up using this lava as its fuel. Puts it into a liquid version of that ore, and Ardite is one of the ores added by it. 
<coughs> and uh, you can cast it into ingots, you can cast it into pickaxe heads, stuff like that. The main focus of the mod is making like reusable tools and stuff like that, or tools that can be repaired, I guess I should say, which is pretty cool, which I've already started doing over here with the brain, uh, which is my, uh, my manual and pickaxe. Which manual is the highest, the best alloy that they offer, um, which is, let's see how I spell that right, it says this guy, and it is made with, probably check the molten one actually, <clears throat> Ardite and Cobalt, which are both found in the nether. Um, had a whole thing where I went off and found those, and, and then lost the episode, like I said, because it, it was horrible, horrible audio quality. But there we go, we have our Molten Ardite, and it's literally as simple, once this is all set up, faucets obviously go on drains as, as it's all set up. Which, and I'm probably going to, actually no, I will end up moving this, so I'll show you how to build it in a later, actually you know what, I might actually do that now. <clears throat> you just right click, and uh, lets it, it pours it into the cast, right click to get them out, and then you get, you get your ingots. The really cool part about it, um, is that instead of, or actually the benefit over a furnace and why it's actually so good for beginner is it's actually really really easy to make um, you need a lot of this seared brick which is just made by throwing this grout in a, uh, in a furnace or apparently with Mimikite but I didn't know that and grout's just clay, sand, and gravel all very abundant uh, resources and that's, that's it that is all you gotta do. Then you put the grout in a furnace and then you organize the seared bricks in different patterns to make different parts of the smelter. Controller being eight, um, smeltery drain, which you need to actually get the liquid out and like in the faucet and pour it into something to cast it. That's six. Uh, regular seared bricks, which composes pretty much the rest of the smeltery, unless you wanted to do some glass, which I'll get to in a second there. Uh, it's just four, then the tank, which is essential, um, is eight, a piece of glass. So you can see it's pretty cheap stuff to actually do. And then here's the faucet and the table, the basin. And I have no idea what a casting channel does, but it looks kind of cool. Uh, but anyway, that's that. It's not not really too complicated, um, although there is a whole like tool creation process that does tend to get pretty complicated but what I'm gonna do here really quick just so I can show you how this thing is made is I'm gonna break it down and move it because I had to do that anyway because I gotta get one of these pillars coming down on this side um, and then I will I guess I'll be back when uh when that's all done and over with okay and we are back um so I dug that I got rid of that and I got all my stuff in here and we're gonna get ready to make this guy um, so really what you need to do you need a 3x3 three three hole it doesn't necessarily have to be a hole no, it can be above ground but it sort of looks a little wonky if you keep it above ground but it's just 3x3 three three of the seared brick which is again just four seared bricks uh, in shaped crafting you need a smelter controller which is absolutely essential and you can see on the tooltip there on the Wayla tooltip it'll actually say invalid structure so it'll tell you like if something's wrong um, on that little tooltip on the smelter controller um, and at least if something's wrong in the micro block micro block multi block excuse me and then these fortunately hold their lava you're gonna want your seared tanks I have two just cuz one doesn't really tend to last very long as you can see um, but you could have two, you could have oh, lining this whole area, these, what, 11 of them that would be, minus the smelter controller. Uh, but yeah, you could, there's a lot of cool stuff you could do. Um, and then this outer rim, you're going to want as seared bricks. Or, like I said, seared tanks, or seared class, it, it really doesn't matter. It just depends if you want to be able to, like, see inside there and stuff like that. But I kind of don't really like the look of that if it if you can see inside of it let me just expand this area a little bit more because I'm gonna need it one two three okay um, then your next layer is I have five smeltery drains you could have one you could have all of them it does not matter but next layer is where you're gonna put your smeltery drains um, which you then attach the, so I'm trying to think and talk at the same time, it's a little weird. Put your faucets onto the drains and it makes like a little thingy that the, that the metal pours out of. Uh, there's that. 
And I like to have one basin uh, just because it makes, like if I get a lot of ores that I want to dump in here or something like that, it makes it really easy to just pour blocks instead of individual ingots because that can take a long time, especially considering it doubles your your uh, your ingot production. So one ore will give you two ingots, which is pretty cool actually. Um, let's see, get these guys. I was making a broad axe, or a lumber axe is what it's called, so I had that stuff uh, on there. Get these. It's just right click to put the casts on, and I'll show you how to make casts and everything like that as well. At some point, I don't know if I'm going to do it this video, but at some point I will definitely show you how to do that. Okay. And then you literally, oh, you can hear my uh, phone going off there. Let's get that out of the way. All right. And then you just keep stacking and stacking and stacking, and that that's it. And then you got yourself a smeltery. It's seriously that easy. And it's made with, like, really basic uh, materials. So it's really easy. It's really good to double your production. Like, it's really beginner-friendly is the word I am, or the phrase that I am actually looking for. Do I have enough? Uh, I'm not going to have enough. Oh, well, I would if I didn't misclick there. Which is, this is okay. I'll have to come back and finish this at some point in two. Actually, I want to get that up there because it's just going to annoy me if it's sitting right here. Alright. And, boom. Smeltery. That's it. Controller is where the interface is, where it has the inventory and the fuel and the liquid amount that's in there and all that. And that's... man, that's it. That's a smeltery. Um, these other things over here, too, are all tables from the Tinker's Contract Mod, which in a later video, when I do end up making a new tool, which I will, because I definitely want to show you guys all this stuff, um, I'll show you what all they do, what they all do, excuse me, and uh, what they're all for and all that stuff. But for now, I think... Hmm, I think what I want to do, actually, is get... Let's see, can I get an ender tank going? No, I need an ender pearl. Mm, which I do not have. But the rod and blaze rods, okay. Uh the nether is a dangerous, dangerous place to be with this. There's a mod that adds uh uh what do you call it? Um There's a mod that adds extra mobs to the nether and they are ridiculous. They are like crazy crazy mobs they are terrifying and they're very powerful and they're annoying to say the least actually and that's that but i just harvested that coal essence i'm going to quickly 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 go to sleep here very quickly so it gets uh nighttime or daytime excuse me and i will show you what this coal essence does and there's an essence for everything all the magical crops um give you an essence and that's you make the materials out of that essence so coal essence i believe is just like that and then it actually just gives you four coal so it's it's pretty cool it's definitely a cool mod i'm glad it's uh a thing that's uh that's pretty sweet but i think what we'll do is work on this pillar do i want to do that Let's see, I'm going to figure out something to do, and then we will jump back in, and I will see you when we, uh, when we figure that and out. And we are back. Um, so I was trying to think of something we could do today, and there's not really much that I can do as far as FTB goes, because, I mean, it's a lot of resource gathering and a lot of infrastructure uh, that you got to get built up before you're actually able to do anything. So, I mean, I had that built. I don't really want to do building necessarily right now like building big projects because i guess that can be kind of boring on stuff like that what is that oh magnetite okay um, i can't really do much while i am waiting on this resource collection so i got a turtle running down there you can see that it's like an auto mining uh computer type of thing so i got that going and um while that runs i figured i'll just do a little additional mining and we could, we could have a little chat we do a little talk about uh, like the channel and like what's going to happen as far as like all the videos go and stuff like that. Um, 
and what it will actually commit to this time. I believe I made a video a while ago saying I was going to do videos, and then I never did videos, and it was just not not good, not fair to you guys, especially since you, I mean the viewer base that I had actually really enjoyed my stuff, which is pretty, which is cool. I mean, it feels it definitely feels cool to have a to have a base like that, but built myself a little branch mine like right pretty much right when I started um, that's lava that one's lava and this one is I think this one's open we'll find out in a sec <clears throat> okay so I guess the reason that I left was uh, the reason I left YouTube was that it was just not fun like it became it became a chore it became much less fun than it was before, especially like with doing the Yu-Gi-Oh videos where everyone had learned like, oh, this is the card that you need to win, and it's, well, not necessarily the card, but this is the deck structure and meta this, meta that, and it just became not very fun uh, at all. So I stopped doing it. Great, there's lava underneath me. That is fantastic. I'm glad to see that. But I stopped doing it, and I, I don't know uh, what really sparked me wanting to do it again. I was just I, actually, I think it's because I was watching a lot of other, like, I was watching a lot of FTB, and it made me want to play FTB and stuff like that, and I figured, why the hell not record it, you know what I mean? I've got nothing to do, it's it's a fun thing, um, or it could be fun at least, since I've taken such a long break from it, and I was right, and now I'm actually quite quite enjoying this, I'm looking forward to it actually, so that's that, as far as where I was and why I'm, why I'm back. Um, as far as the Yu-Gi-Oh! videos go, um, oh boy, that was almost very dangerous. Um, I do like Yu-Gi-Oh! I still love it, as far as the game goes. I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna do the videos again. I know that's probably not what a lot of people wanted to hear, but it all depends if I could get a tag partner. It all depends on, um, like, I know there's that new, uh, game, what is it called? Oh, great, this is filled with lava. Millennium Duels, I believe it was called, which I have played, I do have, I have played, it is actually a lot of fun. But, it just depends on a lot of factors, um, I don't know how the community is on it, I've never been online on it, just played the single player and got a bunch of cards, but, we'll see. Uh, most likely they will come back, because I know you guys really do love that series, and I know that's sort of like what my channel is, is that, that Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Um, so it's highly likely that will uh, come back, but I just don't know when. So, yeah, it's something we kind of kind of got to keep an eye out for. Alright, uh, alright, let's see, what else is there? So I'm just digging through here because I am desperately low on iron. Um, and I really need iron to get some engines going, get some power running in this place, because I would much rather forego the very long, very annoying, um, excuse me, the very long, very annoying Tinker's Constructs type of thing, because while, while very helpful, oh, come on, lava again, while very helpful, uh, for starting out, it's not really that, uh... Oh, you know what? I've actually seen this cave before. Weird. I've been in this cave before. Odd. <clears throat> it's not actually that great uh, overall because it takes a long time to melt down the ores and stuff like that. Um, so I'd much rather have a pulverizer going because that just runs off power, which is, in a sense, renewable, um, depending on what type of power source you get. But... Uh, and it also doubles your ores, which if it's FTB, it's all about efficiency, it's all about uh, automation, machines, stuff like that. So if you don't double your ores, you're kind of doing it wrong. Uh, um, but yeah, that's that's the goal, I believe, for now. So you know what, I think I'm going to do another little cut out to get some of this like first day-ish, although it's not technically the first day-ish. Uh, type of stuff out of the way so you guys don't have to sit there and watch me mine through a bunch of obsidian and whatnot and I will be back 
uh, when we get a pulverizer and we get a little, little tiny little power setup going, okay? Alright. Okay, and we are back. It has been about a half hour of mining <coughs> for me, and I am back here. And I decided I would start back here because I want to show you guys how, um, how I am making, or how you make, like, casts and stuff like that. Okay, so you get these patterns, which are real super easy to make. Patterns are just two wood planks and two sticks, and that makes just a blank pattern just like that. And Apparently an iron helmet for whatever reason. <clears throat> and then you put it into a stencil table, just literally blank, and you're just able to page through and pick whatever pattern you want out of all these ones that are uh, up there. Toss them in a pattern chest here, which is literally just a chest with a blank pattern on top of it in shaped crafting, and then goes next to a part builder. <clears throat> and you can see it accesses that chest inventory right there. But you need this. This is the most crucial part of making casts in Tinker's Construct. So then you get, I just usually use stone because it's just easiest. You just want a head for this. In this case, I'm making an excavator, which digs out a 3x3 three three area as opposed to one block at a time. Ooh, ooh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, then you want to take an empty casting table. Now, I believe I have gold in here. Yes, you can either use molten gold or molten aluminum brass, which is copper and aluminum tossed in here. Um, and it mixes together, does a little bit of alchemy and magic and Minecraft processing stuff. And um, it makes aluminum brass. But you can also use gold, which I just do because it's easier. Um, but yeah, once you have your little little thingy, you want to place it on the casting table, which by right click and right click your seared faucet, it pours out. And once this, I believe it takes two ingots to make a cast. And once that is all set like that, boom, excavator head cast. Just right click to take that off toss that back down and I do have gold in here which I need to get rid of very quickly so let me do that um, I'm gonna need that I'm gonna need that I'm not gonna need that so I'll put that one there I'll get those out of there real quick like uh, very unprepared for that um, but I just keep all my I just have a chest here so it keeps all my casts in there and whatnot uh, do, 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 come on. You could go a little bit faster. Oh, well, actually, I guess not. Cooling molten metal. It sort of sort of makes sense that it takes this long. But um, okay, let us toss the obsidian in there. I do not know if I can make an obsidian large plate. I you see, like I've made um. Uh, the obsidian tough binding, obsidian tough rod, which I'll get to in a sec. I'll show you what they're uh, what they're used for. Okay, there is an obsidian large plate. Cool. So once this all heats up, I will be able to make that piece. Well, both of those pieces actually, and I can heat that one up too. Okay. In the meantime, I guess I will grab some redstone because I'm going to need it as a modifier on this guy. Um. Any tools that you make in Tinker's Construct, it's really cool because you can, um, where is my stuff? Where's my things and stuff? Where are they? Where are they? Um, you can add modifiers on, which increase the effectiveness of the tool, which I think is super cool. Um, and like I said, I want to grab some redstone because redstone, what it does when it's on there is, uh, it, um, or the train going by, it's driving me nuts. Ho really hope you guys can't hear that. Um, but what redstone does is increase the mining speed. So it digs stuff out faster, it mines stuff faster, whatever you happen to do. You see I made some moss here. Uh, moss is for um, um, auto repair. It adds auto repair, which is pretty sweet to not have to worry about repairing and stuff like that. This obs, obs, no, not obsidian. Uh, redstone, that's what I needed. Redstone makes you go faster. What else do I need? I need a diamond, which I'm sure you can imagine what a diamond does, but, but yeah. Um, okay, is this all melted up here? Yes, it is. Eight pieces of obsidian. 
Coros out an obsidian plate, and I think that probably took up all the obsidian that I had in there. Dang it. I believe a large plate is a material cost of eight. Each thing, like, different materials have different costs and whatnot, and it, it's, uh, it's sort of weird to uh, keep track of, but, uh, you know. Actually, let's light this area up, too, so I don't have to sleep during this. Kill some time. Oh, sweet. I did have enough. Awesome. And now, do I have enough to make the... No, I do not. Okay, so we'll toss some more sitting in there. Wait for this to heat up again. And I still got to finish the top of that. But, um, anyway, over here at the Tool Forge, with a new set of lights on it, this is where you combine everything uh, to make these tools. You do need a Tool Forge. Uh, to make a um, excavator, broad axe, hammer, scythe, whatever. Um, but if you do not have the infrastructure to make a tool forge, you are able to make a tool station, which is like the precursor to that, uh, which is a crafting table, blank pattern, and the tool forge is some iron, lots of it actually, uh, and a tool station and some seared bricks. Uh, but once you have done that, you have the tool forge, you can make all these tools, you literally just click the item, put the stuff in there, and then once I have that it'll pop up, but then boom, that's it. You can name it if you want to give it a name, like I gave this one the brain. Um, which is actually, I had an alumite pickaxe previously, because you need alumite to mine cobalt and ardite to make manual and do some stuff. Um, and it's completely pink! So I had originally named my alumite pickaxe Pinky, and I decided it would be funny once we get the manual to name it The Brain, for the Pinky and the Brain, um, which I loved that show. I watched it all the time. But just a little reference uh, if anyone out there gets that. But and I really hope, come on, have enough. Have enough ingots. Come on. Ah, uh, I don't have enough, do I? Dang it. Okay, I'm gonna do another little cut here, and once that's once I have the broad axe head, we'll. Uh, all right, back. that's all finished up. We're back here, about to put that in, and boom, we have an excavator. And do I want to name it? Uh, oh god, I can't think of a creative name right now. Okay, so we're just gonna leave it. Um, so that's that. You just click the tool. It tells you what order, what tools you need. You just put it in there. This first screen, which is also on the tool station, so you don't need to have. To yeah, words, stuff like that. You don't need to have a uh, tool forge to add modifiers and stuff like that, but you just toss the tool in where there's a tool, material, toss that, and then like it'll give you your modifiers. So a diamond adds 500 durability to it, which is awesome, because now I have 940, as opposed to, what would that be, 440? Uh, so that's pretty sweet. The redstone, like I said, will increase the mining speed. That'll add 50, that adds a full level of haste, and my personal favorite here is the ball of moss with the auto repair, which is excellent. It's, I really, really quite enjoy that. Um, so let me store this guy away, store these guys away, and I will show you. you will actually, let me, alright, so I'm coming up that. on this desert, and we finally get to see this thing in action. So, let me just go down, this is one, two, alright, this will be perfect right here, and boom, look look at that, look at how much that set digs out, it's crazy, oh god, that is so useful, it digs out a 3x3 three three square, depending on where you click in the middle, and it's super helpful, super cool, um, and I am very... Oh, and I found some appetite. Cool. Cool, I think? Appetite's pretty abundant. Sort of useless. But, uh... Yeah, that's the, uh... That's pretty much the excavator in a nutshell. Um... I love that tool. It makes gathering sand so much easier. And, like, before when I would play on servers, I don't know why I didn't... I never made one. Like, I never... would ever make a, uh... Excavator. I don't, I don't know why. It's very useful because I always hated digging up sand. But anyway, um, we're gonna get some of this sand smelted up because I have come up with a little rudimentary power source that I think you're gonna enjoy here. So I should be able to make some of it. 
already. Let me just toss this in. Nope, not there. In the chest, please. Thank you. Um, we're going to need some gold. I know that. We're going to need half that iron, four glass. No, we're going to need more glass than that. Uh, I know we're going to need iron, redstone. That should be enough. first part of this we need an aqueous accumulator which um oh, tin we need as well which is iron and okay sticks we got that we got a we got a bucket um aqueous accumulator it's functions much like a uh, infinite water source so you can take um you put source box next to it and it just just pumps water in and stuff like that, and that's that's really it. It's actually uh, it's actually pretty cool. And hopefully we'll be able to show that to you today. But let me just make myself first part of it. The machine frame. We have the bucket. We got the glass. We need the tin gears and a pneumatic servo. Pneumatic servo is. Ooh, did I get that wrong? Did I reverse that? Yes, I did. Okay. There's that. We have the glass. We need the tin gears. That is what we need. Please, where's my tin? It's so weird. I'm so used to different colors because I've never used uh, Tinker's Construct before to uh, make um, stuff like this or to double my ores. I always usually just kind of grind straight to a pulverizer, which is painful and un unfun. Uh, especially to grind off too. So it's been cool starting off with Tinker's Construct, which I've never really done before. But we need some wood gears, we're gonna need some stone gears, and tin gears. Okay, so take that right there, that guy right there, those across, the pneumatic servo there, and boom! Aqueous accumulator. Okay, so let's think where we can set this up. For now, I think right there is gonna have to do. Alright, so it does have a facing to it. You can see it up on the Wayla tooltip up there. Um, but its interface is just like this. That's all it is. It just has an output. Which I'm gonna set to the top here because there is another little nifty little device uh, we'll be making in a second here to get some power going. And I think you're gonna really like it. Hopefully, I don't know. I just love this the whole all this FTB, like all the machines and all the stuff like that. I just think they all look cool. And I think the whole performance thing is cool. But you can see how fast it fills up with water, just at at uh, one bucket, pretty much a second, or a thousand millibuckets, whatever, whatever you want to call it. But we have that. Now we also need a steam dynamo. So we need a lot of copper for that. Redstone and it's okay, cool. I can make that. We need our silver. Uno silver. A lot of we got a lot of copper. Wow. No, wait, that's bronze. Oh yeah, I remember I made a mistake earlier. Made some some stupid decisions with uh, with bronze and stuff like that. But we could get, let's get rid of this willow wood. Does that mean that makes willow sticks? Damn it. Or darn it. Excuse me. Um. Come on. Come on. There we go. We need two of these, I think, right? Was it two? Yeah, it was only two. I know there's easier ways to make gears, like with just one iron ingot, but uh, as you can see, I only have two. Oh, actually, I have blocks of iron, don't I? Oh, wow. Well, now I feel stupid. But anyway, we'll be uh, we'll be fine. We're almost there, anyway. So, oops, still missing a part. That's the conductance coil. Transmission, excuse me. It's all the same thing. Then we got that, we got that, we got our redstone, and boom, we have a steam dynamo. Okay, so this orange side, what the orange stands for is an output uh, in all of your thermal expansion machines, which is the mod that the aqueous accumulator is from, and I believe the steam dynamo as well. Yeah, thermal, ex thermal expansion. 
So if I, as long as I have that set to output and I put this steam dynamo on top of it, it will automatically start tossing water into there, which is really, really cool. Now, there's two more components to this setup uh, that I'm going to need. One is a leadstone energy cell, which is pretty easy to make. Just a block of redstone, uh, four lead, four glass. I have that. All of that actually pre-made too. Four. Come on. Block of redstone. I'm clicking. The stuff's not happening. It's a little bit weird. But and I will show you why I make this, or uh, why I made this in a second here. All right. Three copper and it can. Ah, uh, takes electrum. Dang it. Okay. Electrum um, is an alloy. So it's one of those fancy smanchy metals that you need. Um, I really hope I don't have anything in here sweet. So you'd make it with gold and silver. Uh, it's a metal added by thermal expansion. Um, you just toss gold and silver either in a smeltery, you can do it in um, what you call it. You can do it in an induction smelter, which is another thermal expansion machine, which I'll have at some point. We'll go. We'll get to it. Um, or you can pulverize gold and silver into dust, combine the dust, make electrum blend, um, which is a uh, cool thing too. So there's a lot of ways to make it. I'm lucky that I happen to have a smeltery here. Otherwise, I would have been a little bit SOL on that aspect. Would have had to have been uh, doing a lot of cuts and stuff like that. But there are two ingots of electrum. Let's get back here. Come on. Okay. And I put my redstone away, didn't I? Yep. I'm a fool. I'm a gosh darn fool. We have... Boom. Okay. We have that. We have that. We have that. And we have a leadstone energy cell. Okay. So what this does is... It's an energy cell. It's exactly what you think it is. Um, it stores power. It has configurations on it, which I... I believe blue was the inputs everything else in thermal expansion blue is an input and then the output is uh orange yellow i believe it's both ways and then there isn't is there an off function all right we'll just leave that as blue then so nothing's nothing's going on with it but check this out we we got our water source we toss some coal in here it starts heating up fills up with steam and at some point here it starts producing uh, oh, it's which it's already doing. This is why I put this here, this leadstone energy cell, because this it will use up the energy in here when it fills up all the way with forty thousand RF, which is their um, thermal expansion's new type of power. Redstone flux is what it stands for. This will gradually decrease, and that is a waste. It is a colossal waste of uh, power. I don't want that. I don't want to have to waste. Uh, power. So, perfect. Oh my gosh, we have enough to make this stuff. Cool. Ah, oh, excuse me. So yeah, waste and power, not fun. Um, I have that leadstone energy cell in there as a way to hold that power in case I ever need to use it. Oh, I'm just hiccuping and burping all over the place and it's awkward. In case I ever need to use that power ever again. So, so I should have enough here for a piston. It's going to be so nice when I have to craft all this stuff by hand. Uh, I have a flint, although I need two of those. Do I have more copper? Yes, I have more copper. I have enough sticks. I do have enough sticks. What else did I need? Oh, I needed them. Uh, okay, no, I do have enough iron. I need a machine frame. I think that's everything, guys. I think we're going to do it. I think we are going to do it. Is that? Nope. I'm a god. I'm a fool. Still need a gold ingot. And we have that guy. We'll have two of these guys. I should probably make more of those because uh, you use gears for everything. We have two of that guy. 
two of that guy. I think that just about does it on the pulverizer. Yes. Okay. Cool. So where did I toss those last ores? Just so I could show this, and then we'll end off the episode uh, with this. Oh, that's I did not know it does that. That is cool. How it has that. Oh man, that is so cool. And this should start filling up with power. Yes, it is. Cool. Um, these all have inputs too, just so all this stuff can be automated, which we're not going to be doing right now, because that is way far down the line with Emmy and stuff like that, and the uh, applied energistics and stuff. Um, so I'm just going to turn all of these off. Oops. Orange is the last one. Orange, orange. Okay. And then look at, check this out. Check this out. Just toss the ore in. It uses, at the cost of a little bit of power, just toss that stuff in, and boom. Pulverized metal. And it makes two for one uh, ore. Which is super, super cool. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. what else did I have? And yeah, I know I had one. Oh, come on, obsidian pressure plates. Obsidian pressure plates. Awesome. Mobs do not activate them. Only people activate them. Uh, pretty sweet. Alright, and then check this out. All you do, you take the dust, throw it in any kind of furnace, and it just cooks it right up into ingots. Super easy, super simple, a lot, 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 lot faster than, uh, than Tinker's Construct, which I, uh, I feel bad because Tinker's is such a cool mod, um, but I also don't feel bad at the same time because it's so much faster to just do it with, uh, um, did I put cobblestone? No, I did not. I'm very particular about my organization of my chest, sorry. But it's uh, it's a lot faster than Tinker's Construct, which I quite uh, enjoy. Now, can we put a lever on this? I think I can. Because I definitely don't want it to be just wasting power. Just wasting away my coal and stuff like that and stuff. Yes, sweet, I can, awesome. So now it will no longer use up coal. That's still power. Just gotta remember to turn that back on. Okay, so uh, I think actually that is gonna do it for today's episode. Um, it's kind of cool to be back. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, this will be a recurring thing, and like I said, we'll probably definitely get some Yu-Gi-Oh back. But uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, favorite, share, all that stuff, and then subscribe if you're excited about this, if you're excited about seeing some more. And uh, we will see you guys in the next episode. See you later.